friends and comrades today i would like to speak to you about a historic development the world just witnessed and that is the victory of donald trump in the united states presidential elections it is historic because only for the second time in united states a president has come back to power after a gap of 4 years usually the presidents have the consecutive terms but this is a different case and donald trump has won the elections decisively against all odds the poll predictions were very tight and he defied the old pollsters and marched victoriously to president's house of course the swearing in will take place on 20th january the whole world is reacting to this momentous development because donald trump is a unusual political personality he has friends and adversaries he is not someone who balances relationship he takes decisions and as you know when you decide you divide so donald trump can divide people leadership and a country even during elections american electorate was vertically divided between two candidates but nearer home i would like to share my optimism and impressions on donald trump's presidency and its impact on india observers are saying that uh, american foreign policy is a consensus issue between both the political parties but not really the personality of the president the policies of a particular president in united states does make a significant difference and donald trump will make that difference some observers also saying that we have seen four years of donald trump 2016 to 2020 so there will be no more surprises again that is not the case donald trump has matured as a politician and people evolve in their thinking and their understanding as the time goes by and after a gap of 4 years donald trump will certainly be a different person in the white house now what does it mean for india i am quite optimistic as i said because donald trump has been a friend of india and he had called out china as their main adversary and that will make all the difference for india there are talks of uh, tariffs on trade donald trump is a transactional president yes there will be tariffs and counter tariffs he will protect the interest of america america comes first for him and he was not quite happy with indian uh, trade policy so that will take some shifts but that india should expect because every uh, country uh, protects uh, their national interest but more important in the evolving geopolitical situation donald trump's priority will be to counter china which is challenging the supremacy of america in international politics he will moderate his stance with russia he has promised in his election campaign that he will bring an end to the war in ukraine and that is possible if united states puts it wait behind A, a, a negotiated settlement and uh, a ceasefire, an end to this bloody war, 
then it will stop. Everyone knows that. And I think he will persuade Zelensky to, to come for a settlement and he will do the same with Putin. That is good news for India because India was caught between its traditional friend Russia and the new friend United States. That balancing act India need not do any longer. And the, it turns towards China uh, uh, by uh, Donald Trump, which has been uh, quite uh, uh, aggressive in the past. Um, during uh, the uh, last days of his last presidency will be good news uh, for India. And that would really decide uh, and determine uh, India's and America's um, bilateral regime. And I am uh, sure that this will be an upswing because this is a major uh, geostrategic uh, issue for the United States uh, and they will not uh, give up their numero you know, position in the world and they will need India to counterbalance China. Everything else will fall in place and that is what I wanted to share. Uh, Indians are raising the immigration issue. I think uh, why India should raise with each country uh, the immigration issue. Why Indians are desperate to uh, uh, flee the country. Rather, we should develop our economy, improve our living conditions, find jobs for our people, so that people do not desperately migrate to other countries. So the migration uh, is, uh, uh, should not be an issue uh, uh, for uh, India in negotiating uh, with uh, each uh, Western country. So I, I, that let American law uh, and policies take their course uh, uh, and migration uh, is not a major decision. It is uh, our strategic relationship with the United States. That is our overriding priority. Thank you. Uh, I will come back again with uh, another uh, major national or international issue uh, to draw your attention, engage you in a um, mutually beneficial interaction. Bye.